This is what a bag of 400 mosquitoes looks like. I'm hoping they don't fly out. <laughs> I think they're all dead. This bag of now very dead mosquitoes has come out of a mosquito trap that literally sucks mosquitoes out of the air. Oh, I'm getting like all the legs on my hands. More than 300 of these traps have been deployed here in the city of here in the south of France, where the mosquitoes were becoming such a problem they were driving tourists away. The RCD is surrounded by uh, 1,800 hectares of marshlands where the female mosquito lay the eggs. The hotels, they lost tourism. People have to leave because they cannot uh, stand the nuisances. So the, the mayor has to find out a solution. So fully the thing I hate most about going on holiday is mosquitoes because they just, for some reason, find meat really tasty. And if you go on Amazon, you can find loads of these little ultraviolet bug zappers that claim to attract them and kill them. But here's the thing, mosquitoes aren't actually attracted to UV. They're attracted to carbon dioxide in your breath. Each trap releases a mix of carbon dioxide and a sort of sweaty fragrance that mimics what humans smell like. And as mosquitoes approach the trap, they get vacuumed in into a bag where they die. The local government here is funding the project and it gets access to an app that shows the location of all the traps and even how many mosquitoes each one has vacuumed up. And there is a serious side to this as well because mosquitoes can spread deadly diseases. So you can see why this might be a practical solution in regions where that's a problem. I went to the nearby town of Sena to meet the company's co-founders, Simon and Pierre. The machines release CO2 to attract mosquitoes, and we hear a lot about how CO2 is contributing to climate change. Are these machines going to contribute to climate change? No, because we are not creating CO2. We are reusing CO2 already creating, because in a lot of industry, uh, we are creating CO2. Our manufacturer is catching this CO2. A trap is like a human. So when we are using four traps in a school, it's just four humans more in, the, in this place. The machine also releases a fragrance that kind of emulates the human scent. How did you develop that? Did you have to go around collecting sweat samples? <laughs> no, we made a lot of experimentation in our laboratory with all of the mosquito to create the, the perfect perfume to attract the mosquito. It's, it really smells like acid perfume for the tropical mosquito, and it really smells like mushroom for the, the, the March mosquitoes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> There's lots of wildlife that eats mosquitoes. Once they're removed from the environment, will that affect wildlife like birds or frogs? We have no impact on other insects, on other animals like birds, swallows, because we are catching mosquito only in the city where humans are living and we are not catching the mosquito on the natural area so they are able to be eating but a lot of animals. What's been nice about coming here is that as far as I know I haven't yet been bitten by a mosquito although we did have a close call on the first night in a restaurant with a very large mosquito. That was in an area where they don't have any of these traps and so that one just hasn't been vacuumed up yet, I guess. But it's been nice to be able to come out and film a video without constantly keeping an eye on my arms and my legs to make sure that there's no mosquitoes biting me.